Happy holidays. Hi, I'm Joey M. And here we are on Chefs again, but this time is a little different time of the year. We're right at approaching Christmas. We're only a few weeks out, and I invited Sam and the crew to come over to the house. We're going to just give you a lesson on doing some simple baking. Nothing major today, just something that'll make it easy for you during the holiday season, and you can throw some kind of cookies or biscuits and throw them out there for your company. But today we're going to do some biscuits and pizzelles. So you just come into my kitchen here, and we're going to start you off. All right, we're going to do a single batch of biscuits. This is a really a simple recipe. Uh, it, a lot of people make biscuits different ways, and this is kind of a not a real hearty, heavy biscuit. It's more of a light biscuit, and you could eat it as a sponge, or you can, if you cut it, you toast it. And that's the way we're going to do it today. So let me start this off with you. You need six eggs. Keep them room temperature. That doesn't mean let them sit out all night. Let them sit out for about an hour. You don't want to have any kind of uh, bacteria or anything like that. And just go down like that. Six eggs. We'll put a little more in this. Uh, put my paddle on. You couldn't use a whip if you have a whip. I like you. <clears throat> I like using the paddle. And then I have two cups of sugar. All right. They put the sugar in there. And you're going to let it all whip together. Keep it on about a medium. Let it be for a couple minutes until it all incorporates. Right now it's like a real yellow color. You want it more of a pale yellow. And that means it's all incorporated in there together. The other ingredients you're going to need for this is aniseed, butter, melted butter, three sticks of melted butter. Now, you can use oil or you can use margarine, whatever you prefer. And I've used all three. Today I'm using butter. We feel like building up the cholesterol a little bit. And some vanilla. Four cups of flour and baking powder. And I'll go along, the, I'll show you this as we go along. Now this is all, this is getting there. Now you don't have to use aniseed if you don't want to. You could use an almond flavor. You could use lemon. Zest the lemon, orange, whatever you feel like doing. You know, there's there's a little bit of discipline in baking, but when it comes to the amounts of flour, baking powder, stuff like that. But for flavor, you can be creative. Make it, it makes it your own dish. And uh, I was taught this way by this woman. She taught me this recipe, just anise. You can use anise oil. I'm not a big fan of that anise oil. I will use it, but I'm not a big fan of it. All right, now, we're going to slow this down. We're just going to put it on stir, real slow. And I better put my glasses on, because I cannot see without my glasses. I can sing without my glasses, but I can't sing without my glasses. All right, we're going to put about, not about, we're going to put three teaspoons of aniseed. I'm going to put about two teaspoons of vanilla. I'm not going to measure. I can usually judge on that. It's pretty simple. I'm going to put your butter in. And the butter, you put it in the microwave. If you don't have a microwave, put it on the stove and melt it in a pot. But Put it in the microwave for about a minute and a half, high speed, uh, high heat, and it'll be melted. Let it cool off. Don't put it in hot. You start to cook the egg. You don't want to do that. All right. 
Now that's moving in there nice. I'm just gonna shut this off because I wanna drop this down a little bit. And I'm gonna put four cups of flour. Now, that's what the, that's what the recipe is. You don't have to, like if you're making certain cookie doughs or something like that, especially Italian cookie dough, you usually judge and you can feel the, the way the dough is going. But this calls for four cups of flour. And four teaspoons of baking powder. Make sure your baking powder is fresh. And I mean by fresh, it does expire. So you check your date on, on your container. It's usually good for a year or two, but just take this easy. All right. Now we're letting it work. And this is, this is pretty simple. This is not a, a, a really a hard recipe. Uh, to do. A lot of people say, oh, I don't have time to bake. I can't do this. I can't do that. You know what? I'm in a restaurant. You know how hard it is to get out of the restaurant and do things, but every time you have some time together or by yourself, what I try to do, and today I don't really need any help for this, but if I do a bunch of different cookies, invite your friends over or tell your kids to come over if they're not living at home with you or ask mom to come over and just make some cookies this is what we lack today keeping the families together it really is it's a lot of fun to do it everybody does the chore they clean up they help you clean up and then you say well what are we going to do about the food to eat water out or you throw a pot of water on and Fry a little garlic and oil, make a dish eye oil, feed everybody. I'll tell you what, I've had people in here, maybe four or five people come in here at a time to help me when I do some heavy baking. Like I said, today this is pretty easy. Okay, this is the dough. Now, this dough, this is what it looks like. You can see that. All right, it's nice, it's light. What you need to do with this though is refrigerate it at least an hour or a little bit more. And then I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do once we get, we have one already made, so I'll show you how to do that. Okay, I took a dough out of the refrigerator already and I'm gonna show you how to do this. And you can grease, you need to grease your pan. I'm using pan. You don't have Pam, don't fret. You don't need Pam. Get a little napkin, a little olive oil, not olive oil, oil, vegetable oil on the pan, and just slightly grease the pan. All right? Now, the dough, I'm gonna put I'm gonna use my hands. My hands are clean, by the way. You got the dough in your hands, you just kind of form it. And you put it on the pan. Now, this will spread. This will not come out looking like this, and I'll show you. It spreads out to be pretty big. This should be a little smaller one. I actually have one in the oven already, so we can show you what to do. And if it sticks to your hands, put a little oil on your hands, put pan, butter, margarine, whatever you want to use, just rub your hands down and you put it in. Now, to the magic of TV, this one here is extremely big. You're gonna see it coming out of the oven. But it's ready to go at 350 for about 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Now, you see this here? I'm sure you saw biscuit this big. It's not the prettiest, perfect shape here, but you can clean it up. And what I mean by clean it up, you let it, you can cool it down just a hair, but I'll just give you an idea. You can kind of clean the edges off like that. And don't waste it. Put it aside. Eat it. Let the kids eat it. You see how it's starting to shape up? And then you make your biscuit. And you cut them like this.